All right, welcome back to another Sudoku. This one's called German Fork Killer Lift. It's a little play on uh, a forklift in a killer cage a Sudoku. So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So every row, column, three by three box contains a digit one through nine once each. We've got German whispers, adjacent digits along a green line differ by at least five. So if this was a two, this would have to at least be a seven. Killer cages, digits in cages do not repeat sum to the clue in the top left corner. So like these would have to equal 10 without repeating digits. This one just can't repeat digits because it doesn't have a value in the top left corner. Then we've got region sum lines, which is box orders divide each blue line into segments with the same value of n. Different lines may have different values for n. So what that means is that these two digits have to equal whatever these two digits add up to. Uh, same here, these two digits where they add up to, these two digits have to be the same value. And then we have gray circles denote odd digits. So those just have to be odd. And those are the rules. So let's just get right into it and see what we can get out of this one. So where to start is a good question. <clears throat> well, we've got, for reading some line, this has to at least be six, the bare minimum, one, two, three. So these have to at least be six. And these digits are the same digit. And then looking at this one, these digits are the same digit. This one, I don't quite have a ton to go on yet. So let's, oh wait, we've got a, a high digit on a German whisper. So this digit, this digit, this digit, so on and so forth. All of these are of the same polarity. Because if this is high, this has to go down to low, back up to high, down to low, back up to high, etc., etc. So that actually tells me that these are six, seven, eight, nine as well. This has to be low, but it can't be a four because a nines would have to be in both of them. So this is one, two, or three. Uh, we should probably be looking at fives, I guess. Oh yeah, look here. Can't put a five on a German whisper because You'd have to either have a 0 or a 10, and that doesn't fly in a normal Sudoku rules. So this is a 5. And then on this line as well, there has to be a 5 somewhere in here. So this, one of those two has to be a 5. Uh, what do we got? This, these two have to be low, and they also have to be odd by the gray circle. So they're either 1 or 3, so that gives me a nice pair. Where can a 6 go in this line? Can't put a 6 here, because these would both have to be 1. This is a low digit, so it can't be 6. You can't put 6 here. Same thing, both these have to be 1. This is a low digit. This one you could have a 6, because these could both be 1. This one you can't have a 6, because it has to be a low digit compared to the, that one. And this one actually can't be a 6 either, because you'd have to put a 1 here and break these. So this is the six. And these are then both ones, and that's a three. You're not a one. A three then tells me this has to be eight or nine. These are not sixes, because that six sees it. These are not sixes, because that can't be a one anymore. Okay, that's a pretty good start. So this has to be from seven, eight, or nine. This has to be low, either two or four, and it can't be four, so this is two. These now have to be from four, seven, eight, and nine. This can't be seven, eight, or nine, so it has to be four, which means these both have to be nine. That's nine, that's nine, which means these are both eights. That nine gives me an eight. This is low, so it's either one, two, or just one or two, because threes are taken. This can't be nine or eight, and it has to be high, so it's six or seven, but it cannot be six, so that's seven. This has to be low, one, two. This then has to be a three. These have to be high, so six, seven, eight, or nine. This is not seven, eight, or nine. So it's six. This has to be one and two. 
this is not seven, eight, or nine. So it's six. Sees the seven there and the eight and nine there. <clears throat> so what do we got next? We know what these digits have to be. They have to be four, five, and eight. That one is not the five, and that's not the four. Can this ever be an eight? The answer is no. Because if this was an eight, this would have to be a one, and this would have to equal a nine. There's a nine right there, so this is the five. Let's get rid of some of these marks. Okay, moving along. So this has to be higher than five. Can't be six, eight, or nine, so it has to be seven. I'm trying to hold back a sneeze here. So this has to be two, because these two have to equal this. Now these two have to equal seven. They can't be five, two. So they could be six, one, or four, three, and they cannot be four, three, because there's four there. What about these three digits? We've got three, seven, and eight. <clears throat> this was, th either one of these was three. The other one would have to be eight. So this can't be a three, is what I'm trying to say. Because that's three. It has to be five higher. So eight or nine, there's already nine there. So that's not three. So this has to be low. It can't be four because I can't put a nine over there, so it's a two and a three. What else? So we know there's a three down here. If this was a three, this would have to be the eight. In fact, we know one of these is the eight. <clears throat> so if one of those is an eight, this can't be an eight. Well, we should have just looked over here. This boy's a seven. You're an eight. We could have seen that in a couple of different ways, but, you know, we got there eventually. Are these tens doing anything yet? Not really, because it could still be nine, one, or six, four. What about these digits? We need a three, four, five, and nine. So there has to be a nine up here. There can never be a nine on this, because the highest, oh, we have to equal eight. So this is the nine. So how can I equal eight with two digits with what I've got left over? We can do five, three, and that's it. So this has to be five because of that, and three. This then is four. Uh, we need a one over here somewhere. Well, we need a four here, because we have that four in the line, but there's a four over that box. So this has to be one and six which forces this to be three and seven. And these have to be two and five, okay? Now, what's next? So a three digit way to make an eight, you have to have a one on it. And it could either be one, two, five, or one, three, four. This can't be three or four. This can't be one or two. Okay, that did a little bit, little bit less than I wanted to. Uh, do we have anything else down in here? Well, we know what these three digits, they're two, five, and nine. We could have kind of figured that out earlier because this has all nine digits in it because it can't repeat in cages. And these six digits are already taken, whatever they are, doesn't matter. So these three digits would have to be these three digits anyway. So this is two, five, nine. This is not nine. This is nine. That's a two, five pair. That doesn't settle these yet though. Okay. What's the next play? We know one of these is a one. So there's no ones in any of those. So this has to be a one, nine. What else, what else, what else? What can this 10 be? We know it can't be a one nine. It can't be a six four, because these sixes see both of these. It could be a seven three. It cannot be an eight two, because there's that there. 
Is that all the options? Right? Can't be 9 1. Can't be 8 2. It could be 7 3. And it can't be 6 4. Yeah, so it's 7 3. So this is 3 and 7, which makes that 8 and 8 3. That is therefore a 7 and a 2. So we've got to put a 7 up in here somewhere. That's not doing anything just yet. These have to be... Oh, we got 4, 5, and 6. No 4s in there because of that guy. So this is a 4. This is 5 and 6. So this is not 5. So we've got a 1, 2. Which means this has to be the 5. To make 8. This is a given. 9. That 5 is going to give me a 2 and a 5. These two digits are... What is it? 3 and 8. So this is the 3. This is the 8. What about these bad boys? We got 4, 6, and 7. Oops. Wrong. 1. 4, 6, and 7. That's not 7. Next in line is, I think we've used all the clues, so it's coming down to Sudoku, it looks like. So one of these is a 1. This one can't be, because we've got 1s in either of those. So it means none of these can be a 1. So this is a 1. We need a 2, a 5, and a 9. This can't be 2 or 5, so it's 9. This has to be 2 or 5. That 9 do anything? No. Okay, what about these guys? Need a 3 in this row. Can't be here or here, so it has to be here. We need a 4. Could be either place. And we need the 5. Well, this can't be a 5, so that's a 4 and 5. That's a 2 and a 5 and a 2. And these two digits have to be... Four and nine. Therefore, one and nine. We've got six and a five. These have to be six and seven. It's not quite there yet. These have to be one and two. This is there. That's one, that's two. That's six and one. Four, eight, and the three, seven are not done just yet. What are these guys? Five, six, and seven. That's not 7, that's not 5, that's not 5, so this is 5. Uh, do we have anything cutting across? That's not f 4. Well, 6s. Neither of these can be 6, which means this is 6, this is 7 and 4, which means this is 6 and 7, which means this is 1 and 6, and this is 2 and 1. This is now a given 8, which saddles my 4 and 8. These are 3 and 4, so 3 and 4. 7 and 3, we got a little doot 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 going on up there. And we've got 6 and 7. Hey, there we go. So, that was a great puzzle. Uh, it flowed really well, you know. Went, uh, starting mostly in the German whispers and then into the uh, region sums, so... Anyway, German Fork Killer Lift by Kelly. Excellent puzzle. Hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.